He's awesome. We have a couple of quick announcements that we do want to make you aware of, uh, and then we will give our benediction. Uh, we will be doing a book drive, a literacy drive called a 1K for Christ book drive. So in the month of May, uh, we as a church are looking to um, collect a thousand books. <coughs> I'll say it again. We are looking to collect a thousand books in the month of May. So you can bring them on any given Sunday or whenever you may be up here at the church for a meeting or what have you. But we are looking to collect a thousand books. How many of us have books that are just laying around the house? Amen. So if you have gently used books, uh, what we want to be able to do is donate those books to area hospitals. Uh, because whenever you are in the hospital, you know, if you're not into the boob tube or, you know, sometimes television is not what you want to have mm -hmm. your focus on. Um, you, you want something to read. So we're going to donate to the hospitals and to, to some of the reading programs in and around the city. Uh, so please uh, be in prayer for this effort and please support this effort in any way that you can. So a thousand books in the month of May. Uh, so each and every Sunday we're going to start collecting those books. Um, also don't forget this Thursday is communion. Touch your neighbor and say communion. 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 Uh, right here communion. in this room at 6 p.m. Uh, we go from 6 to 7.30. Okay? 90 minutes. In and out. But we move communion to the first Thursday of the month because we believe that it deserves a time of separation. Amen? Amen. It is the highest and holiest order that we participate in, and we always have a great time in communion. We get you in and get you out. We focus in on God, and we remember the sacrifice. Amen? Amen. Over the sacrament. So right here uh, is communion. Uh, if, uh, if you know someone or you are that someone, uh, that would like to uh, serve in the media ministry here at this church, we would love to have you serve in that capacity. Uh, the media ministry is looking for uh, faithful servants to learn um, how media here at New Vision Kingdom Life Center works. Um, if you have an interest in that, or you want to volunteer the person you sit next to. <laughs> Amen, lights. Uh, please see Hospitality CE Toy immediately following service, so then that way uh, we might be able to start um, building up that portion of our service. Um, also, don't forget, we have Holy Convocation coming up in July, July 6th through the 20th. Um, registration is now open, so if you have not registered for Convocation, uh, we've been talking about this for the last several weeks, uh, please make sure that you go to United Covenant Churches. Dot org, United Covenant Churches org, and register. Uh, we will all be there as a church. Um, it is going to be an awesome time uh, in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. Uh, also, this coming Friday is a family movie night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you just want to have a, a high, holy, fun time where we just come and, and watch a movie, we, we do it here in the sanctuary over popcorn. We have juice and snacks and all that good stuff. And we find great, wholesome Good movies, so you don't have to worry about seeing something crazy, but they're also not corny. Let me, because I know my church, okay? I know what you saw at the movies last night. Yeah, amen. I'm just not playing none of that in the sanctuary. But also, we want to make sure that we keep you entertained, so they're not little hokey, corny, the Ten Commandments revisited type stuff. No, they're, they're awesome, awesome movies, so please make sure that you're here. Uh, movie night starts at 7 p.m., and the movie is 25 Hill uh, this coming Friday. Uh, two more announcements uh, that are here on my list, and then two things I need you to be in prayer uh, with me for. Um, the first of the last two is Universal Soul Circus is coming back to town. How many of us have ever been to Universal Soul Circus? How many of us enjoy ourselves? Let me ask that question. All right, well, we are planning on going as a church, um, so if you uh, would like to come and be a part of this, remember we are doing it as a block, so please let First Lady know tickets uh, need to be purchased this coming Friday in order to get uh, our date for June the 13th at 7.30 p.m. The price of the tickets are $24.50, uh, so please uh, let First Lady know, and if you have other people in your family or friends that you would like to join with us, um, please let us know, and we can put them in the count, and we can work out how we need to get funds taken care of for that. But it's going to be a fun time. Yes, I was, yep, yeah, absolutely. Because now, you know, Universal Soul Service has gotten sophisticated. They're big stuff now. Because uh, if you've been, if you've known them, you always went to the Capitol Plaza. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to be at the Capitol Plaza. They're going to be at uh, where's the at uh, in D.C. at RFK, and they're going to be where we're going at the Harbor. All right, so they're going to be at the harbor. We're going, we're going to go to the bougie one. 
We're going to see if they up their game and go to the harbor. All right? So on the 24th, it's going to be at the harbor. We're going to have a lot of fun. So we're going to see if it's different. Uh, the last announcement that I have is Father's Day is coming up, y'all. Now, y'all know how I feel about Father's Day. Okay? This spot right here is, is Father's Day Central. Uh, so I need all of you all that are able to please uh, plan on serving during Father's Day. We want to show and share uh, with the men, the fathers of this church and this community that we value them. Yeah. Amen? Amen. That, that we honor them, that, that we cherish them, and that we love them. Amen? Amen? Fathers are some of the most underserved, Amen. vilified, people on the planet. Now, let's just be very clear. That's not to say that some of it isn't warranted. But how much of it is fed? How much of it is supported? And it, it, it takes no faith to speak the obvious. Amen? What it takes is faith to undo what is obvious. I ain't gonna get no I guess I need to preach that. Let me change my message for next week. Amen? Amen. Father's Day is coming up, so we need all those who are willing to volunteer for, for our Father's Day cookout to please see uh, Brenda Edwards, she's raising her hand, uh, in order to find out where we have service opportunities for that day um, here coming up on June 16th. Um, and two things that I need, no, it's, it's not here, just here as the church, and you'll get all of those details. Oh, we, we won't be doing it here on this property this year, we're going to be at the municipal building. All right. So uh, if you've never been to the municipal building, it's a they just put a great deal of money uh, into uh, their their um, sports facility. There is a brand new football field. They have a park. They have cookout material. It's going to be a great, great, great time. So we're going to have games and all. You don't want to miss it. So please make sure that you're there. It'll be at the municipal so the municipal center. Uh, we'll be giving you more details coming up. Two things that I need you to pray for, and then we'll give our benediction. Um, please uh, keep Kareem's son um, in prayer. He's in the hospital. Um, he, when did he go in? Last Friday. Or this Friday. Yeah, last Friday. This is Sunday. Um, so please keep him in prayer. And I, I heard that he's supposed to come out today. But please um, pray that, that the Lord uh, does everything that needs to do in order to bring him, make him whole. Amen? Amen. 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 And then please keep Julie and Willie and the entire Pittman family in prayer as Julie's father went home to be with the Lord uh, this week. Um, so when, whenever uh, we get the opportunity to hear that someone has gone from labor to reward, uh, we have mixed emotions. But we thank God for time that we get to spend with them. So let's keep the family lifted in prayer um, as they hold up the bloodstained banner uh, in the celebration of her father. Amen. 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 So, good. so he'll, his homegoing service is this coming Friday. Uh, we'll be putting out details. So if anybody is available and free to be there in order to support the family, uh, you can uh, know that and be there. Uh, but we will be in the house in order to just love on them. Amen. 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 Uh, and then uh, I'll save up for next week. Okay. All right. It's time to go home. Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all good? Yeah. Let's go. All right. Grab your neighbor by the hand, won't you please? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It was good in worship. It was good to see all of y'all. Amen. Make sure you hug somebody around their neck and let them know that you love them. Uh, please greet our new members and let them know how happy we are to have them in the family. We've come in here to worship, and now we leave to serve, leaving this place. But thank you, Jesus. We don't ever have to leave your presence. For it's in the name of Jesus that we know where we are. Yes. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Give somebody a hug and let them know that you love them.